Hey, it's Luke from Not A Tabletop. I hope you're keeping well. And today we're going to look at one of Warhammer's worst kept secrets. We previously had leaks before of the new flesh eater quartz models for Warcry. And today we have them in full. And of course, you'll be able to use these in Age of Sigma. So I'm a massive lover of the lore for flesh eater quartz and their grand illusion. And these models, the Gorgor Squires, are the first I'm going to show you for the new Royal Beast Flayers. And of course, it does follow the same aesthetics as the rest of Flesh Eater Quartz. However, I think the models are starting to get a bit more refined with these. And the idea behind the Royal Beast Flayers in general is that they are a warband that are out to destroy the Realm Shaper engines of the Narwood. Because obviously in the Grand Illusion, they believe them to be nests of horrid draconic magic. And I think the Awful Hounds in particular are a great addition to fit the theming of Flesh Eater Quartz and help round them out a little bit more. So the idea behind the Awful Hounds, these are people that have been cast down by the Ghoul King. They've been put into pits with literally the worst awful bits of scrap, bits of bones. And they of course then transformed into these Awful Hounds. But obviously in their mind, they're probably these noble wolves because obviously... The Grand Illusion is king to all. And I honestly feel with the new release of Flesh Eater Quartz down the line, especially when we get the full release for Age of Sigma, I think they're going to flesh out things so well. I think we're going to see a couple of new units. I'm obviously hoping for that. I could be in the part of the Grand Illusion myself, but I think these could be one of the best armies from a lore perspective, but also from a model perspective as well. The Beast Flayer Baron, absolutely love it. And with this Royal Flame Master as well, I think they've done a fantastic job with this Warband in particular. As I said, things just starting to look a bit more refined in the models for the Flesh Eater Quartz themselves. Now, of course, we've got the Age of Sigma announcements happening tomorrow. And of course, I'm guessing we're going to see a lot more of the Cities of Sigma and the Dawnbringer Crusade. However, I am hoping we will see a lot more Flesh Eater Quartz, even just a little bit of a teaser for one or two new units that things to come in the future. And if you are interested in learning more about the lore of the Flesh Eater Quartz and whether you should play Flesh Eater Quartz, I do have a video on my channel for that. Please do check it out. And with those who do enjoy playing Warcry, these models are literally just around the corner. They are going to be spring this year. So in the next few weeks, we're going to see these. Then in the summer, we will have the new starter pet set for new players. And then we'll have in autumn four new war brands with Order vs. Destruction. Two new war bands in winter with Order vs. Death. And in spring next year, we're going to get two more war bands. However, this is to be confirmed. Let me know what your thoughts are on this new war band for the Flesh Eater Quartz. We will be picking these up. Are you hoping for more announcements for Flesh Eater Court soon? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time.